Good day. I wanted to do another pour today. And today I'm using Folk Art Metallics in uh, these colors, the gold and champagne, uh, rose shimmer, and well, it's a green. And I'm also putting uh, liquid wrench silicone in this. I haven't tried it before, but I thought, well, I'm going to try it. I noticed that my paints are stinkier. I really like the smell of the hair oil. It just is much prettier, but this will off-gas, I'm sure, very shortly. And you know you're a paint addict when you uh, dump your spices in your big container and you look at the container and you go, I'm going to do a pour with them and see how that works. So I've put the green and the champagne in here and the gold and the pink in this one. And I'm going to try doing a negative pour. I'm going to do the background in white. And then I'm going to open it and pour through the holes in the spice container and see what effects I get. I have a feeling it's going to look pretty cool, but uh, I forgot to put a glove on this hand and I'll end up getting paint all over if I don't. So this is just uh, the background negative space. It's just white paint. It's white house paint in this. No silicone or anything, just uh, a little bit of Floetrol and water to get it runny. And I'm going to use a comb to kind of spread it around. I kind of want it to be a thin pour because I don't really want to have to blow too much. Or uh, move it too much, hopefully. And I might blow with the straw, so I'm going to have one here, just in case I decide to blow. I'm not sure yet whether I will or not. So, first of all, I'm going to put the white on. And I'm going to spread it around with a comb. I couldn't find my hair fork, which I prefer to use, but... I'll use the comb and spread it around. It just tends to get a more even coat on. And I don't want it to be too thick. Like I said, I don't want to have to pour. It seems to spread the paint good. The bubbles are easy to pop. Basically, I'm just covering the whole background with this white. I probably didn't need that much paint, but I gotta make sure the sides are covered anyway. So. Because, yes, I do like to have my sides covered. This uh, canvas was kind of needed stretching, so I wet it on both sides and let it dry first because, yeah, it was quite zaggy. It was a little twisted too, so I just bent it from opposite corners to flatten it out, because if your pour isn't flat, you know it'll run off. Um, yeah, I find with uh, lots of canvases that aren't that expensive, these aren't gallery wrapped. It's just from, you know, like a dollar store sort of thing. You find it, there will be quite a few of them that are a bit warped or uh, not stretched properly. Or... But we can't all afford gallery wraps. Uh, they are quite, expen quite a bit more expensive. And for practicing and learning. I ain't no Da Vinci, so... <laughs> I mean... We work with the materials we have and just have fun with the process. That's what it's about. I wasn't going to do a pour today and then I thought, you know, I always feel better when I paint, so go paint. Today I'm thinking about friends and family, wonderful holiday times together. Looking forward to the new year, new projects, trying new things. 
I am getting a camera for Christmas. It's in the mail. So I will have it towards the end of January, I guess. So I'm looking forward to, to that. To, to having a... Maybe being able to make good quality videos. Hopefully. I'm just kind of spreading out somehow. I got some lines, deep lines. So I'm just kind of smoothing it out. You can use your fingers. You can, like I said, you can use just about anything. Sometimes I use a popsicle stick, but I find it uh, gives more defined lines than I want sometimes. Just like this is kind of giving me some. I like the, the hair fork better, but I can't find it. I don't know where I put it. Basically, what I'm doing is making sure my background is covered. By dropping it, I'll pop any bubbles that are in there. So basically, I'm just kind of trying to flatten out the paint by uh, moving it just a little bit. Then comes the exciting part. I think seeing what this will do. Because I'm thinking it's going to give an interesting technique. Kind of like pouring through a colander. Or... I've seen some interesting pours done that way too. So yeah. Like I said, you know you're an attic when you dump the spices into a container <laughs> and right away have to wash them because you're thinking of a pour you can do. And they're ready. Just kind of let this flatten out a minute. Get it kind of level. And then I'll try not to get too much paint on it. I want, like I said, a negative space. What happens? I guess I'm not getting the coverage with that white today that I like, but with the Floetrol in it, it will, it's kind of self leveling, so it will level out. It will. So, I'm going to figure out which way I'm going to pour. Hmm. I'm going to start with the pink or fuchsia. I see there was a little bit of water on the cap. I think I'm just going to start pouring and see what happens. Given a cool effect. I guess you can get it as thin or as thick as you want. I want to clean that lid off before I put it back on so it doesn't glue on there. <laughs> well, it is different. Just never know what you're going to get. Yeah, hmm. Try some of this green in there and see what I think. And that's all I want. I don't think I want any more. Now. Hmm. No, 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 no. What now? What now? What do I blow? Do I tilt a little? What do I want to do?
Now what? Now what? Now what? Okay, okay. I see I have a hair in there. That is out. Hmm, 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 hmm. To blow or not to blow? That's a question. But you shouldn't put get paint on the end and stick it in your mouth. Ugh. Oh, it's on my fingers, that's why. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll get a different, different straw. And I got paint lips. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> not getting much for sales, but I guess that's because it's not a dirty pour. It's just kind of, well, I guess it's because more of it's stringing out. Hmm. It is an interesting effect. Should it go up that way maybe a little bit more? Just give them a little stretch in that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is cool. It's making some interesting patterns in there. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. You know what? I'm going to leave it because I'm not going to think I'm going to like the blue one on it. This canvas isn't perfect with the level. <laughs> Stick a straw under this end just for now. Well, it is different. It is different. Sometimes different is just good. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, huh. It is kind of cool. Anyway, have a good day. Bye-bye.